Welcome to the episode two of Unlocking Digital Workplace Opportunities in 2023. In the last episode, we had a very interesting discussion on ChatGPT. And today I'm here again myself, Praveen Kaur, Senior Analyst in Digital Workplace Practice, with Udit Singh, who is the Practice Director, to have another interesting discussion on Metaverse. So, Udit, we are seeing a lot of commotion in this space. There are technology vendors, there are hyperscalers, everyone is investing or at least talking about it. So, how do we dem demystify this space? Yeah, no, absolutely. I think the space around Metaverse, it's very unique. Uh, and there's a lot of commotion, confusion in the market. And the reason for same is, you know, one company, Facebook, renames itself as Meta. And everyone goes gungo about it. It's the next big thing for them. It's part of the investment plans. Without, uh, you know, thinking about the business case, what's the logic behind this? And uh, I wouldn't say it's completely unreal. It's not completely a hype. but Within Eflis Group, uh, we have enough research to validate the fact that the hype around Metaverse, the interest around Metaverse is wearing off and there's a reality check. But ultimately, I think this reality check was needed. But just to put in numbers, 60% uh, of the enterprises said that their uh, performance improvement from Metaverse initiative has been low to medium. And we also asked them to compare Metaverse versus some of the other emerging technologies such as uh, IoT, 5G, and ultimately, Metaverse was one of the bottom most priorities there. So net net, I think there has been a reality check, but ultimately for the industry and for the ecosystem, I think it was much needed mm -hmm. and it paves the way for more futuristic, more value based implementations of Metaverse. In the long term, this is going to be a very good sign. So I understand that this is not definitely not a fact, it is a reality, but uh, there cannot be one right decision for every industry vertical or enterprise. So how do you suggest uh, enterprises strategize for this? And that's a tricky one, Prabhneet. I uh, hate to say this, but given all this confusion, it's not just enterprises, even I think the complete ecosystem can sometimes get overwhelmed versus what's real that will generate profitability, revenue, experience versus something which is more, more of a buzzword. So segregating these, uh, you know, separating facts from fiction becomes very important. But we have good precedence here. So if you see the gaming industry, Metaverse has been really successful there. So we do have good precedence, good proof points here. And if I talk about the current, uh, you know, landscape, certain industries, to name a few, uh, retail, manufacturing, digital surgery, some of these industries have far more maturity in terms of metaverse use cases around digital twin, AR, VR based support, uh, virtual stores within retails. So there are industries, there are use cases which have good maturity at an enterprise level versus some of the remaining industries use cases. I think there it becomes a game of high risk, high return, but high investments also. Yeah. So that's where you need to be very careful. Thank you for your insights. I hope our viewers also found this very informative. To summarize, I believe that enterprises need to do their due diligence before they get into the space. But if you're in it for the long run, you will definitely see value to your investments. Stay tuned for next session on experience level agreements. Thank you. Thank you.